G'day guys, welcome back to Yeah Nah Beauty and today we're going to do another round of the new makeup nonsense bingo and um, Dan's back for another mm. round of drinks. Um, anyone who's seen this last time, I've actually done uh, one, we've done one of these together. Okay. Uh, this video was created by the lovely Emily Hanhan and Teresa is dead and I'll leave all their information down below. I'll also leave their badges up here so you can see them. Um, this video is basically talking about new release uh, makeup plus playing a game of bingo and and having a little bit of a drink <laughs> while we're at it. So the way it works for you guys who don't know, I have picked 30 um, of some of the most recent makeup releases and I've put them through a number generator and um, we are going to see which numbers are being pulled out and um, all the makeup items have been numbered 1 through 30 and whichever one we pull out that's the one we're going to discuss and if any of those makeup um, items refer to anything on this bingo list that you can see right here um, then we take a drink and we keep on drinking until we get bingo. Otherwise, if we don't get through bingo, we're going to be talking about 30 makeup items today. So, fingers crossed we don't do the whole 30 because that would probably be like an hour long or we'd be pretty drunk by then, I think. So, um, let's just get into the video. If you guys want to see more of us talking uh, crap, then um, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Just another quick reminder that anything that Dan and I talk about in this video with makeup is just our personal opinion on what we see with the products. Any of the products that we talk about, if we don't like them, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the products. That's just how we feel and if you love these products, that's fantastic. In fact, if you love some of these products that we don't like, give us a yell below and let's have a chat about it. Alright, so let's get started. The first number generated is number 24, which is... Someone is terrible at remembering to charge their phone. <laughs> yes, um, and terribly awkward on camera, <laughs> mind you. So it's the ColourPop Peach set, which is basically this bundle here. It's mainly, they brought it out because they're making these monochromatic um, palettes, and this one's particularly inspired by peaches, and they've just thrown in a whole bunch of like um, peach... Uh, blushes and um, lip products and pretty much most of the stuff that's there is already products that they already had um, except for maybe some of these blushes and they've just married it up as a bundle particularly because they have brought out this peach palette here which oh yeah yeah so because yeah, i was going to say and you were saying it's monochrome and yeah because it's not very loud no no it's it's definitely um peachy um personally for me um, a lot of makeup artists will actually tell me because I have blue eyes that I should use peaches and oranges and stuff like that and uh, I find that when I use peaches and oranges on me I look very sick and um, I'm not really a fan of orange or peachy kind of tones anyway so for me I don't get excited about this the only thing that I might be a little bit excited about is um, one of these blushes here um, because most of my blushes are pretty loud and I'm looking for something just a little more subtle so that peach blush yeah. I wouldn't mind that okay. yeah gotcha. so that is um, well first up we've got another ColourPop release so that is definitely on our um, bingo card so we can cross that one off and have a drink Cheers. Big ears. <laughs> mm. yep, oh, that's that good. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the next number is number 19, and that is mm, number 19. The Pat McGrath Mini Eye Ecstasy Palettes. <laughs> so that's what the palettes look like. Um, pretty dismal packaging for um, Pat McGrath, considering that their packaging is normally like like are really artistic but they are the colors in the first palette almost makes up for the packaging doesn't it yeah and they are the colors in the second palette that's not bad either yeah i think that the shadows in these palettes are absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. i love the fact that there's only five um mm -hmm. shades in each of the palettes um but i think the packaging considering that pat mcgrath is in my personal opinion very expensive I think that they really should have used their um, normal style of packaging and I definitely would have brought this like because yeah. I would have had something special it would have been special on the outside it would have been special on the inside I know that it's bougie because it's expensive I would have been all over this I actually I really really like both I mean they're not always the colors that I would tend to go for um, in an everyday look but I think they're absolutely beautiful. It's just really a shame that that packaging isn't up to their usual standards of packaging because that's what's pretty much 
turned me off it. Yeah. So. Well, they're not overly loud, but they're still they're still pretty striking, and uh, mm. the only five choices is. I prefer less choice. You that, know, that's exactly there, right. I mean, an airing all night. Yeah, well, you get a little bit overwhelmed with some of the choices. Um, I find that too. Like uh, um, Morphe, they'll bring out um, thirty pan palettes and stuff like that, <laughs> and yeah, it's a little bit. When you'll you open start. it up and you go, well, <laughs> "What do I do?" So these ones here are pretty, you yeah. know, pretty simple. You pick maybe two or three colors to do on one eye and change mm -hmm. it up by adding one of the other colors another time. So, mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, that's not on our bingo list. So um, oh. on our bingo sheet, so we don't get to drink for that one. So let's move on. Yeah. Um, the next number is number eleven, which is the the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, the mini gold palette. This is another one that's only got five shades. And um, I don't like shimmer shades for me, particularly because of my deep set and um, yeah. um, I can never remember what it's called. Okay. Uh, my eyes, they just they just don't work. I crease, and I I, I get it. Like I think those hooded. colors, yeah, hooded. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think those colors would look absolutely stunning on someone. Um, Particularly, personally, I believe that these colours would look stunning of somebody of colour. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit darker skin toned, uh, I think they would look phenomenal. Um, but I don't think that I could actually get away with wearing these shades on myself, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. So, yeah, I, th I think it's stunning, but it's not my thing, so... Yeah, mm. I, I don't mind the different shades there. Mm. They go well with each other, just yeah. side by side. Yeah, they complement each other. I think mm. that you're going to get some really beautiful looks out of this, um, especially if you can pull off that green gold look. And yeah, I think it's I think it's beautiful. Mm. And um, that's also not on the bingo list. Right, so I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> so we don't get to drink for that one. So let's move on to number fourteen, which is. The uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The artist. Oh, I'm gonna have to get you to help me with that word. Um, Couture. Couture Midnight Maven palette. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's this palette here. It's um, It's got nice packaging, and I can see straight away that there's two colours that I, I like. But, um,. Yeah, the packaging looks like something I would have seen my mother have, you know, 30 years ago. Yeah? Yeah. I, I actually really like, I love the purple and the blue. I really think it's stunning. Like, to me, my favourite colour is blue and then next up it has to be purple. And um, I think that that's stunning. But the content inside, it doesn't do it for me. Although I love that purple, or well, those two purples and that um, sort of bright fuchsia pink, mm. I don't like the other colors i would never marry personally me i would never really marry this deep sort of brown with any of those purples and i wouldn't marry this deep brown with this blue and so i don't know i like i like half the palette those four shades that are more purpley pink toned mm. um but it doesn't excite me that much <laughs> I, i'm not really like thrilled i'm i'm not going to go out and buy it myself i think it's i think it's somebody's going to like it but it's not for me yeah, no, the, the outside packaging is fine, but the inside one, the, the, oh. it almost looks like cardboard. Like yeah. yeah, look, it actually probably is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it actually probably is. They still do that with a lot of uh, packaging. Even Colourpop, the brand that I'm really yeah. raving yeah. over at the moment, they do cardboard packaging as well. Yeah. Um, well but could be why it reminded me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So some of them still do that. Um, it doesn't break as easy as that tacky plastic. So yeah. if you drop it, it's more likely to keep its... A bit of give. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So um, this one is also not on our bingo card so we don't get to drink. All right. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a bit of a dry spell, isn't it? Indeed. Moving on, the next one is number four, which is the Fenty Gloss Bomb Set. Mm. Now, you might not know much about this, but um, Rihanna brought out a brand called Fenty, mm -hmm. and um, she does a lot of stunning makeup, and it's sort of like higher end. Uh, and stunny budgie. <laughs> And um, a few um, American friends out there, that's a fly, so. Um, uh, yeah, Gloss Bomb. It's basically like a really friggin' um, beautiful lip gloss, like a, okay. a sparkly sort of lip gloss. And I actually want to get myself one. I want to get like that pink one. I think it's called Fussy, which um, I believe would be this one right here. Okay. So they've brought out, I think they've brought out three more shades. So I think we had Fussy and we had, I think that's Diamond Bomb. I could be wrong. Okay. So they've brought out this peach color, this brown, and this more red tone one. Yeah. And um, 
I only, oh, I would have the, the pink one and the white one, but I wouldn't wear the peach brown or red personally for me. Mm. I think somebody's going to absolutely love this, um, but I wouldn't buy the whole set for me, but I think, I think it's great. I love the option of okay. having all these different shades, and um, I think that having all these different shades accommodates for a lot of different skin tones as well, yeah. so um, I, think that's, I think that's pretty good. Mm, I like it, but I just wouldn't purchase it because I wouldn't use every colour and I believe that they're at 30 Australian dollars each Which is one of the reasons why yeah. I haven't brought one yeah. yet because yeah. I can't justify spending $30 on a lip gloss yeah. So, yeah. Um, And this one is on our bingo card oh. under a lip gloss release, lip gloss release. Yeah, right. so we get to drink Get another lip gloss? Or yeah oh, There we go There we go And another drink And off we go again Yay! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alright, the next number is number 23, which is KKW Fragrances. So, um, this is perfume shaped in the set of lips, so the top comes off and you spray, I think it's tacky as hell. And, um, well, it's, it's unique, but yeah, it doesn't... I don't know, yeah. I just, I just, mm, I, nah, I don't like it, like... I, I, f I have this feeling that they're going to be like really, really strong, fruity, alcoholy sort of like I just I yeah yeah, yeah they, I know they, what you're thinking. They look wrong. Yeah, they yeah. do, don't they? If you, if you tilt the photo sideways. <laughs> anyway, um, that's not on our bingo card, so boom. Right, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. We've got um, another one, which is number twenty-eight. Which is, that's another Colourpop release. This is the Colourpop Rainbow Palette. What are you called? What are you called? Colour Me Happy, is it? Uh, I should know this. It's on the screen. So, <laughs> it's uh, this Rainbow Palette here, which when I first saw this advertised, I was like, yes. Because I don't have any um, palettes that have colour in it besides purple. Mm. So, um, yeah, I've got the Colourpop... Um, little tiny purple monochromatic palette and um, I have another palette that's got purples in it but uh, I've never really used colour before not like not like this I've been a little bit too intimidated to use colour and when I saw this I thought it's every single colour of the rainbow mm. I can get it in one palette and if I don't like it because it's magnetic I can take those out and I can put other ones in yeah, and, oh, and that's right. but they put in these pressed glitters. There's three pressed glitters in here. Yeah. And I, I absolutely hate glitter in my eyeshadow and I hate pressed glitters because I find that they, they'll get all, your, all over your face and they don't really stick. You sort of need um, glitter glue and it's just, I don't know, it's just not for me. I prefer more of a matte look. So when I saw that, I thought, well, first I would have to take those three shades out because I would never, ever use them. Never. Like, and then what if I don't like half the shades? Like, what if I buy it and then I, you know, because I want to try every single shade, but what if I buy it and I don't even use half the palette, so... Teenage daughters. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, what I did was, is I got on there and I made my own with sort of like, I removed all of the glitters, I did similar colours, because obviously you can't buy every single colour um, that they have in their palettes, but I made my own, which is going to be in a future video, so check that out later, guys. <laughs> um, and yeah, and that's on that's on its way right now. It looks so like a good range too, without yeah, being ridiculous. Yeah, and and that's that's right. I I would have liked to have get, gotten this, and I actually would have. I would have brought this straight up if they hadn't have had those press glitters in mm -hmm. there. But they do have those press glitters in there, and um, that's what turned me off. it unfortunately, it was a really good price as well. I think it was um, forty American dollars, and these is twenty four shades in there, and they're the bigger pans. So yeah. um, it it was definitely worth it. So check it out, guys. Yeah. It still might be available. And um, yeah, uh, obviously you get all this other stuff with it as well. There's pretty much stuff that was already released, but yeah. mm, um, we're pretty much talking about the palette. And we can drink to this one because mm. this is um, a pressed glitter. So pressed glitter and an eyeshadow palette. So we cross that one Sweet. off and we'll have a little drink. Indeed. Oh, God. Second one. <laughs> mm. Gotta make a camp. Yeah, all this talking. <laughs> Alright, the next number is number 22, which is, I can't pronounce this, uh, Shant Shanta Kaley. Shanta Kaley. Mm -hmm. the Shanta Kaley Eyeshadow Singles. 
this is kind of special. Now, okay. forgive me if I get any of this information incorrect, but this company um, bring out occasionally eyeshadows and makeup stuff, and this one in particular, they're all different color eyeshadows. They are very expensive. I think for one of these, I think it might be $50. It's just a single eyeshadow. Was there one similar to this last game we did? Yes. I was pretty sure there was. Um, but whatever animal is featured on the eyeshadow that you purchase, some of the proceeds go to helping either that habitat or that animal or whatever. And I think that that's absolutely fantastic. Mm. Um, I wouldn't spend that much. I can't spend that much. I, I just can't yeah. um, on an eyeshadow. I think they're absolutely stunning and I would own every single one of them. And I would love to help every single one of them if I possibly could. I think that if they were $30, I would definitely look at buying one mm. just because it's supporting these animals and because they are absolutely stunning. But that's something you might not buy for yourself, but I mean, that would be something that someone could gift you. Oh yeah, as, oh as yeah, for sure. Present. Oh, and it would be, it would be mm. the bomb. Like that, absolutely gorgeous, I think they are. And um, yeah. yeah, I actually can't pick which one that I would prefer yeah. out of all of them. Even the pattern that yeah. they're in, you know, yeah. it's just, yeah. Yep, absolutely beautiful. Let's see if this one's on our list, and unfortunately it is not. So, right. no drink for that one. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, so the next one is number three, which is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. So, that is this one here. Did well on the pronunciation of that one. Why, oh, thank you. <laughs> and this is, how many shades is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-eight. Mm. There's a couple of shades that I like in this, but a lot. Look how many look very, very similar. Yeah, they look like almost three, well, two look black and one's not far off it. Yeah, well, if you take away the black and the green and the blue, a lot of the other shades look almost like very slightly different to each other. Like there's only slight different. Uh, diff yeah. Yeah. I think unnecessary. Yeah, yeah I think. If they, if they scaled them, like, instead of putting the same sort of colours, on the opposite side sort of thing, if they scaled it similar to what the other one was, yeah. and like a different shade, then yeah. I think it would have been more effective. It, you know, this kind of reminds me of Tetris. I don't know, it's giving me Tetris vibes, I don't know why, but um, yeah, I don't really like this. I And yeah, you're right, three of them look black. Yeah. I, I enjoy it, there's two sort of greeny colours here, the matte sort of green and that brownie green, mm. that I don't mind, but the rest of it's like... Pfft. It looks like, you know, they almost duplicate the same colours, but you know, one of you speckled what are we playing? Yeah, 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 I understand what you're saying there. Mm. Um, and, and even the blues, both blues look like they're shimmer shades. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we're unanimous on that one. It's kind of like, yeah, nah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can, um, I reckon, I reckon we can make this one the half basic, half colour because it's got. It's, it's really, like, as far as I'm concerned, it's really basic, but then you've got your pop of blue, your pop of red, your pop of green. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I reckon we'll go half basic, half colour, and that means that we can cross one off on our bingo card. Sweet. So that will be the... And we can have a drink. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm getting a nice little diagonal happening here. <laughs> All right. The next one is number 17, and it is the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Collection. Like it's very neon, isn't it? I've had a look at this. Um, I've watched quite a few reviews already. Now, I believe that these are pressed pigments, not eyeshadows. So basically the difference is, is that um, uh, eyeshadows are mixed with a few other things, um, like talc. Some of them are mixed with talc and other stuff like that. Pressed pigments is the truest form of the colour possible. So okay. it has a tendency to stain the lids, but you'll get more colour payoff, so you don't need to use as much. Top. Yeah, that, yeah that's okay. exactly right. And I love the packaging of this. I love the neon with this. Mm. I particularly love that blue shade. Like, I mm. like the purple at the end. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, that's it's not nice my favourite too. purple, but it, look, well, it looks. There's two yeah. purples at the end. Yeah. Actually, that. Ooh, yeah, the, the swatch of that second last one looks, mm. looks pretty good. I actually like those last, I probably wouldn't wear that green, um, mm -hmm. but I love those last four shades at the end. I would actually buy that in a quad myself. Mm. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, I'm probably not going to buy it though because I don't, I don't really, I've got purples. I've got those two purples in a Colourpop palette. It is a good range though. Yeah, and that deep sort of 
What colour is that? That's Meltdown. That one right it's there. Like a green. Thing. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. Mm. I, I I'd pretty much been buying it for that because I have the uh, orange. I have the purple <laughs> shades. Um, but I don't know. I don't know that yellow too. I'm a bit curious. Oof. I think I have to stop talking about this one. Otherwise, I'm going to um. I'm going to want to buy this one. So we are going to call this one a rainbow palette, which means that we can cross it off on our bingo sheet. It's a rainbow palette. Yes. Oh, all right. oh yeah, drink. Ha. Drink. Can't forget that. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I got lipstick on it. I was going to buy a straw, but I completely <laughs> forgot. Mm. All right. Let's move on. The next one, excuse me, is number six, which is Colourpop again, okay. except this time they have collaborated again <laughs> with Kathleen Lights. So yeah. Kathleen Lights is a YouTube influencer and she's been working with Colourpop quite a while now. Um, she's done a lot of the Zodiac palettes and stuff like that. and. She's made another jumbo palette with them. Well, not another. She's Jeez. made a jumbo palette with them. So um, that's a full four of them. <laughs> I think that's actually the biggest color uh, pop palette that's been made to date. So I think that's thirty shades. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and this is one of those ones where we were talking about where I would look at the palette and I'd go, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I just where to start. Yeah, I yeah. think. I think the shades, if you really zoomed in, like if you really looked at the shades, I think a lot of them are stunning, but I can tell you that a lot of them I wouldn't wear because they are so um, either metallic or um, shimmery or, or stuff like that. Mm. And the only ones that I really sort of, the only color that really sort of draws me in is once again that sort of bluey green yeah. shade, um, which I think is absolutely stunning. But um, yeah, this doesn't really do it for me. This. Did I say what this is called? This was the um, the So Jaded palette. Mm. So, I mean, she's got gems on the um, palette design itself. And yeah, I, I think it's pretty, but it's, it's gonna be a big pass for me. Um, mm. I was considering getting one of her other palettes, but I think this is, this, it's like Morphe. There's just too much in one palette for mm. me. And I would probably only use it once or twice and then just figure to myself that it's just, yeah. it's too much. It's You'd too still much. Dive to one of your favorites. And yeah. yeah, and you imagine trying to hold this and do your makeup because I don't think that there's a mirror on the inside. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's an, a mirror on the inside of this palette. So you'd be holding this big. You need a mirror. No, no, not, not, it's not and for if me. You see on her arm, her elbows here. It, it'd go from yeah, yeah, there to there. I mean, most you, of it. You yeah, eight, eight, eight inches. It looks or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. Pretty big. Let's see if this one is on our. Yeah, I, I, I reckon we might put this one down as a collab that won't die because right. Kathleen Lights and Colourpop, I think they're done. I really do. After this, well, I mean, how many more shades can she pull out? She's got 30 there. Plus, she's got her other palettes that she's made with them. The. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. So I think even. I think she might have a few of them with them. So I think that she has the. Um, I don't. I think she has the Zodiac palette with them, and I'm not sure if she has another one. I can't remember what it's called. If I can remember what it's called, I'll leave it up on the screen. But just, anyway, let, let's move on. Did we drink? We didn't, did we? Um, I don't well, it doesn't matter if we didn't. We well, didn't anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Our next number is number 21, which is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick. So that is this group of lipsticks here. Okay. So... Um, Some dark ones there. Yeah, but they're definitely nude for someone. So mm. um, I only really... There's only one shade in here that stands out for me. So I could definitely collect a nude here, which that's this more pinky, um, mauve coloured one. Mm. I, I enjoy that. And I would maybe even consider, I don't actually know how much these are. Um, but I look at these and I think that they look a lot like the um, Jaclyn Hill lipsticks that recently came out, which is okay. it's fine. Um, I don't think these ones are going to have hair in it, excuse the pun, but um, I hope they don't anyway, fingers crossed. And um, But yeah, I definitely think that these may have come through because... 
Jacqueline's may have, um, you know, plummeted and it was an opportunity. In the market, yeah, 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 because I think everybody was really, really looking forward to those nude lipsticks. I mean, mm. yes, there's nude lipsticks in every single brand, but, you know, it was it was definitely hyped up and mm. even I was on the train to want to get one of those lipsticks and, um, yeah, when we saw what happened and I do feel pretty bad for her. I mean, these things, it's, it's happened and there's no going mm. back from it, but I actually, I, I don't mind this. Um, I definitely pick up a shade there. I'm, I'm going to watch some videos first before I do because mm. <laughs> I'm a little bit intimidated by, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think they're okay. It's, it's not like like blowing me out of the water excited. No. It's a nude, so. Well, it's um, supposed to blend in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just low key sort mm. of lip color, you know. Some, mm. Sometimes a bold lip it can be it can smudge and when it smudges you can definitely tell whereas mm. sometimes these nudes you can just slap it on you don't need a mirror and away you go and they yeah. fade nicer as well so yeah. you know I'm not left with that ugly ring you know <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah so I um I reckon we can actually put this one down to I, I do apologize but copycat vibes okay. so um Oh, major copycat vibes yes yeah, so um I we are going to drink to that one and like I said, guys, remember, this is just a game and it's just a little bit of fun. No, no hard feelings towards um... any company. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I have these brain farts and the alcohol doesn't help. So We, we don't have enough to sue over. Mm. <laughs> All right. They, they can't take the Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. The next number is number 25. Which is, which is, Besame Cosmetics Sleeping Beauty Set. Now, here's something a little bit interesting for nerdy friends and anyone who's into Disney. Every single colour that has been put in here is the identical colour that they used for um, Sleeping Beauty. So, um, this... Uh, uh, green here probably came off um, something to do with Maleficent, so it is colour matched. They took the colour code for her outfit, her face, her skin, her lip mm. colours and everything like that, including Sleeping Beauty, and they mimicked the exact same colour in, in there, so nice. you can actually have a look at the number, like it'll actually say on here um, the number that it is or what it is. I'm not going to be able to zoom in very far. But, um, and it'll tell you this is an actual book that you literally open, it's, it's massive, yeah. that you'll open the book and there'll be some information there about the colours that they've taken and put in here and um, so it's, it's pretty much a little bit of um, history and I think all this other stuff is cute. It also comes in, like um, the Sleeping Beauty book is actually in this sort of like encasing, it looks like a, a pillow or a bed, I don't okay. know, it looks absolutely gorgeous and people are going absolutely nuts over this. Well, there's, there's 20 different colours there but it's not as loud and confusing as some of the other ones. So. Mm. It's going to sell out, mm. it's going to sell out not only because the packaging personally to me is gorgeous mm. um, but it, it's Sleeping Beauty and the fact that they've taken the colours and perfectly mimicked them to whatever it is that's um, like, you know, the, cl the clothing or the lipstick or anything, you know, in Sleeping Beauty, I think I think it's going to appeal to some people mm. because if they want to look like Maleficent, they're going to be able to look like Maleficent. Yeah. If they want to look like Sleeping Beauty, they're going to be able to do that, that's you know. Right. So, um, I like the uh, book. And I even like this little necklace thing. It's a little sort of like booklet with, yeah. but um, I mean, I wouldn't wear it. It's just, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like it. It's a naughty. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to buy it because it's gimmicky and I won't use it. And it's, look, ugh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more into my horror dolls, you know. They, mm. they don't do anything except to be visually appealing. But this is sort of visually appealing, but it's got a purpose. But I just could, I wouldn't be able to touch into any of these shades, so it'd just go to waste. So. Wouldn't suit your dark side. <laughs> <laughs> no. So let's see if we can um, cross this one off. And um, I don't know. I'm, I reckon we're going to be a little bit cheeky here. I don't really know whether this is a holiday release but it's been brought out in the holiday season so we're okay. going to be a little bit cheeky here and we're going to call this a holiday release with the most extra packaging okay. so we can cross that off and we are going to have a drink right here there we go that's about the last one out of this one yeah mm. <laughs> time to top up mm -hmm. all right
Oh, that's good. Whoops! A bit much there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, gonna make it worth it, huh? Absolutely. Go away, Fly. <laughs> yes. He wants in on it too. <laughs> Pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> I think I might have to cut that out. That's racist, Absolutely. isn't it? <laughs> no, but someone will carry right? on. Yeah. Mm. Jeez. That's in a song. Yeah, can it be? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, risky. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on. The next one is number twelve, and that will be. Now let me count them out. Everything's starting to get a bit blurry. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The KKW Beauty Times Winnie Harlow palette. <clears throat> I don't That's know. I don't know who Winnie Harlow is. Okay. Um. Mm, I don't know who she is. Um. I, th I feel like I've seen this palette before. I, I Dream Street, I think, I, I think I've seen this palette done before, recently. Um, in fact, I think it could be another Colourpop palette that I've actually seen done similar to this. Okay. I might have a look, and if I can find something that sort of looks like this, I'll, I'll put it up and put it side by side. But this, I, it's, it's, uh, it's okay, mm. I guess. I'm a little bit, it bores me a little bit. <laughs> Um, I mean, there's, there's, there's two shades there that I don't mind, which is this sort of pinky purple and the blue underneath it. And mm. I'd use the brown because, you know, you're darkening up the inner corner, that's what you do. But um, the rest of the shades to me are just meh. Um, yeah, I'm, Fillers. Yeah, it bores me. I'm not into it. And I don't, I don't know who Winnie is, apologies. So um, um, she's probably a YouTube influencer. Let me just have a quick look. Let's find out who Winnie is. I think I might have the right one. Winnie Harlow is a Canadian fashion model. Okay. All right. Well, in, in that case, um, if Winnie Harlow is the fashion model that I just found, that will go under a collab with someone who's not known for their makeup, which means that we can cross one off our bingo card and have a drink. So there you go. thank you, Winnie. <laughs> All right. It's there somewhere. There we go. Here we go. And you get a little bit careful. Yeah. I wouldn't spill a drop. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to our next one. We've talked about a few things already. Hmm. Alright, how are we going? We're all over the place, aren't we? Alright, our next one is number 26, which... 26, which is a Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation. So that's that. It's a foundation in this funny tubey thingamajiggy. Okay. And it's got that many shades, so it's a range for all those skin types. I think she's got a pretty good um, range. I think the applicator's a bit gimmicky, cheap, plasticky. This is the thing. Does, will it work? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's interesting, but yeah, if it works, mm. it could be something good. But if yeah. not, and you leave half of it in there, if yeah. it was in my bedroom, I would definitely try it. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> that's something. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether I'd go out and buy it. Let me have a look closer at these lighter shades. Yeah, I could probably get away with. Yeah, there's 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 two shades here that probably would suit me. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not a bad range. Yeah. Um, it's. It's definitely interesting. I guess it sort of depends on how much it costs because the packaging to me looks really cheap, um, and it's white and it just looks. It's. Mm, I don't like the packaging, so yeah. Okay, it's foundation. Well, we'll see. We'll watch some videos and see whether it works. So let's see if we can cross this one off. We can. It's a foundation release. So let's cross this one off and um, have another drink. Foundation again. Yes. Oh, ooh, we're getting close, guys. We need. We got one more on the diagonal. One more. Is that vertical? Yep. Yeah. One more vertical. Two more horizontal. Ooh. We're getting close. All right. Let's move on. The uh, next. Excuse one. me. We we have a drink. Oh yes. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I won't forget. <laughs>
that's good. That's really yeah. good. Mm. <laughs> Alright, the next number is number 15, which is the Viseart The Dark Palette. Okay. I... Is that glitter still? Oh, the bottom row, yeah, yeah, but it's not too bad. Like, it's it's uh, shimmer shades, but it's not like pressed glitter. Pressed yeah. glitter, you'll take it out and you'll dab it on, half of it will crust off your face. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whereas shimmer shades, um, they'll go on kind of like a matte, but there'll be a little bit of sparkle. I don't Got mind you. too much a little bit of shimmer, but most of this palette looks matte. The top two rows look matte. Yeah. And um, if I ignore the bottom row, oh. I, I don't mind it. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I think what's pulling me in more is the fact that the packaging is purple, and mm. I think I think that's what's catching me, and it's mimicking that purple that's in the in the pan, which to me looks freaking gorgeous. Like, ugh, I mean, mm, yeah. there is, there isn't a huge range, and, it, and it's and it's neat. It's, yeah, 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 I um. And it fits in a, the palm too, with the looks of it. That's yeah. right. I think most of the the looks that will come out of this will be more of that sort of volcanic y brownie mm. orange sort of look. Um, uh, yeah, but I I I don't hate it. But like I said, I think I'm being conned by the packaging because it's purple. <laughs> it speaks to me, and that purple in the pan, I'd be like, it, it, I am. That's the only color I'm drawn to. So it, 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 I couldn't buy this. I couldn't because that's all I would use, and yeah. it's, it's a big waste. And Vizia. I also don't think are cheap, so yeah. yeah. Um, they do have some gorgeous, um, some gorgeous palettes, and um, yeah, maybe I'll get one one day, but not this one. So, <laughs> yeah. is this one on our bingo card? It is not. Yeah. Really? Well. All right. The next number is number two, which is Urban Decay Honey Collection. All right. So, um, I. A lot of gold there. Yeah. No. I. It's really going to suit one particular style. But, yeah. Um, you know, if that's your style, then I, I suppose it's going to do the job for you. Yeah, that's right. I think it's pretty. Um, it's not really yellow, more sort of like gold and um, and mustardy and brownie. I, mm. I think it's pretty. I think somebody's going to love the hell out of this. Mm. Um, I think all the other stuff is sort of like mm, you know yeah. meh. I think this is. Probably the whole, you know, I think, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think yeah. somebody's going to love this, I just, it's not me. Um, yeah. I, I like, I like a lot of the shades in there. I just don't know whether I would actually wear them or whether they would suit me. I think it's beautiful. And um, if I got PR and they sent me this, I would definitely be trying to make it work for me because it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But um, as for the rest of the stuff, the, as for the rest of the stuff, I think it's just like, yeah, mm, whatever. Um, I've lost the picture. <laughs> yeah, so what do we got? We've got like a little mini palette. We've, oh, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of holiday gear here. Is that lipsticks? They look like lipsticks. Yeah. yeah. And an all nighter spray. Maybe a lip balm. Mm. I definitely use it if I had it, or I definitely try to make it work. I mean, um, not for you, but someone, someone will like it. Yeah, 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 I think so. I think it's stunning. So, but uh, that's not on our list, so we don't get to drink. <laughs> so, okay. yep. let's so move on. Let's move on. The next number is number 27, which is the Too Faced Melon palette. So, when this closes mm. up, it looks like a melon, a watermelon. Mm. Mm. Well, it's I, different. Well, <laughs> I don't hate it. I, do. <laughs> yeah. I hate everything about this. <laughs> it's gimmicky. It's just I'm just not into that. I'm a little bit more bougie with my packaging. I, I like really sort of like sophisticated packaging. Um, not gimmicky. Oh yeah, I guess if I was going to go gimmicky, it would be horror themed. It would have to be mm. horror themed, not food themed. I don't yeah. want a watermelon palette. I hate. I hate these little pans and and they're all shimmers. I think. Yeah, uh, m maybe there's two mattes, maybe this cream and this, what would you even call that colour, taupe? Ooh. Maybe a little bit taupey? Don't know. Mm, I, think it's as, I think this is a face palette. Uh, yeah, I don't know, no, I don't like this. <laughs> mm, mm. Are they mirrors? I think, they're, I think it's got two mirrors, I think these are separate pieces, so... Don't know. Yeah, ugh. <laughs> not, it's not for me, I don't like this, so... Um, they, mm. Yeah, nah, so, um, it is on our bingo card. It, it is? is under food themed, which I 
which means that we can cross it off our bingo Ooh, card. Hang on. Ah, ding, 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 ding. We have bingo. Yay. So, let's take our drink before we forget. Mm. <laughs> How many was that? That is... 11. 11. Well, that's 11 on there. Hang on. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We spoke about 18 out of 30 makeup, um, new makeup releases, guys, and um, got through, oh, I didn't quite get through two and a half, but to be honest with you, I'm definitely <laughs> feeling it. That last one that I made was probably double, so maybe even triple, so. Well, the show will go on after the camera goes mm. off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm... I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, listening to some new makeup releases that are out and what we think about them. And um, like I said, once again, it's okay if you feel different and um, give us a yell down below if you liked what you saw tonight. Feel free to give us a thumbs up, it'll help us uh, a lot. And um, we plan on being back next time, well, I hope so. Yeah. I, I, oh, I enjoy yeah. doing this, you know, it's a little bit of fun, so a little bit of a drink because um, well, I don't drink that often, so this is a, yeah, it's, it's bonding, so. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, yeah, guys, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of this, go ahead, feel free, click that subscribe button, but don't forget to check the bell. Can you see that fly flying past? It's distracting me. Don't forget to check the bell so you'll be notified of all the notifications, and if you haven't checked out our first video, I'll leave it linked up here in the cards, and, um, yeah, uh, here are all my social medias. If you'd like to catch me somewhere else, I'm predominantly on YouTube and um, Instagram, but you can get me anywhere else as well. So, um, yeah, feel free to check out my other videos, guys, and we hope to see you in our next video. Yeah. All right, take Thank it easy. Much. Bye.